Hey! Hello, people! And welcome to a brand new series called Random Rambling, where I randomly ramble about stuff. This series, you can view it as like a more chilled, unscripted, um, mumbling kind of thing. And they may not necessarily about Cantonese, so yeah. But don't worry, the How to Cantonese series is not going to be affected by this one. So yeah, you can calm down now. And also, please bear with me with my English here. It may be a little bit different because in the Cantonese series, I write scripts for that in case I ramble a lot or go off track and talk about, I don't know, maybe global warming or the apocalypse. And maybe also because my brain doesn't naturally work in English, so if I have to force it to run in this language, it will become slower. So, okay, good call. So, first episode, what should we talk about? Well, let's talk about languages, since I don't really have other things to, um, talk about. I'm a very shallow person. And, and also my mom is watching, I don't know, stuff outside, so if you hear weird noise, please don't freak out. Yeah, I'm too broke to buy, like, some plain stuff. Those foam. Foam? Foam? You know, the, 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 that thing. Yeah, l languages. See, that that's what I'm talking about. I, I ramble a lot. Mm, yeah, l languages. What should we talk about languages? Um, let's dive into some maybe foreign language learning tips. Because I guess most of you who are watching this channel's video are bilingual or planning to be bilingual or even trilingual, quadrilingual, yeah. So let's talk about some, I don't know, pro tips when it comes to learning a language. Well, personally speaking, I guess there are like five things that are useful when you have to learn a foreign language. Not specifically Cantonese, but like any language as well. So I guess the first one is make a good use out of media. Um, you know that that one's kinda cheesy or cliche, like everyone does that right now. In fact, that is what you are doing right now, since you're watching this video. But what I'm trying to say is not only using uh, media to learn a language. My experience is that you have to keep coming back to, I guess, a few or even one uh, particular, I don't know, songs or movies or that episode of Mm, Sherlock. But why though? The thing is, it can you can use that thing to help check your progress um, about this language that you are learning. So for example, if you are learning, let's say, Korean now, and you can grab one song that you like very much or one episode of a random show that you like very much and you can keep on re-watching that episode to check like how much more you can understand by now to me it's like when I was learning Korean at first I watched that show called We Got Married 
and I was kind of like obsessed. But at that time, I can't really understand what the people um, were saying. By the time I graduated from that full-time program uh, for learning Korean, I can pretty much get like a 70% out of everything just by listening to the conversation. So that's when you know that you um, actually improved in that language. Um, and the second thing is when you're learning that language, make sure you use your hands as well. Um, in that case, I mean you make sure you write notes. Basically, I guess everyone writes notes when they when they're learning a language, but bear in mind that do not copy um, a book. Otherwise, that's, that's meaningless. You may as well like get a photocopy machine and just copy that page. That will be much more efficient and time-saving. Uh, the reason why you have to write your own notes um, by your own hand is that um, through writing, you actually have to um, digest the knowledge that you uh, receive from the teacher or the material that you got by transforming them into your own language or your own style of writing or maybe you just would like to draw a picture that's fine as well you find your own unique way to um, understand what you have learned that's much better than smashing that page in your textbook onto your face. Trust me, that that will work. Use your hands to help you memorize things. Okay, that's what I'm trying to say. <sighs> Speaking without script is hard. And I just can't help but look at the viewfinder. Please help. Am I too, like, narcissistic to do so I will find it okay the the third thing um, about like la la language learning is that if you're writing notes for yourself and you have to make sentences in the foreign language that you're learning don't do so by using like fancy words or fancy grammar just Keep the only um, variable in that sentence, um, the new grammar or the thing that you are kind of confused. Anyway, make the point clear. Don't confuse yourself by putting too many unnecessary shit on because that will like that will distract your attention from what you don't understand and if you're trying to ask and maybe your teacher some questions about grammar do this as well make a sentence that are I don't know incredibly simple and then put in the grammar that you are like in doubt am I making sense right now I really hope I'm making sense because I'm, no, right now I'm just like, ah. Okay, the fourth one is, if you have a friend, talk to a friend. I know, I, I, know, I know that that one is cliche as well, but in my opinion, talking to a friend that is learning that language, same as you are, is slightly better than talking to a native speaker in that language mm, why is that because as a foreign learner you are learning that language in a very different perspective so there are things that you have questions about but the native speakers don't just like in for example in korean 
Native speakers kind of learn the language starting from the most casual speaking form, uh, also known as panmai. You know, the very casual form of speaking if you are into Korean culture, you know what I'm talking about. If you are not, then I'm very sorry. I, I can't think of another example. Anyway, back to the topic. You know, we native speakers learn to speak Korean when they were still a toddler from Panma, the very casual form, and then slowly uh, grow into a more respectful kind of speaking form. But to foreign learners like us, we do it the other way around. We learn the most respectful form first and then slowly, slowly, slowly into the very casual form. So if you have any questions about a language, a native speaker may not be able to answer you. Because in their mind it's just naturally, it is naturally that way. No one knows and no one would care unless that person is a linguistic nerd. So if you talk to another foreign language learner, then maybe you guys will share the same perspective. And the backer so And the last, last thing that I guess is helpful in terms of learning language is that if you are writing sentences or writing a paragraph or just speaking to other people, do not try to form a sentence in your native language and then do a word by word translation into what you want to say in yeah what language that you want to say because most of the time it'll just end up awkward and weird and the person you're talking to may not know what you're trying to say you know like language other than words there are cultures in them so Combine all the cultures and grammars and stuff There are so many differences. So If you are only focusing on word by word translation, then you can't do a better job than Google Translator and we all know how shit Google Translator is Right think in that foreign language force yourself to um, think like uh, I guess a native speaker so as to avoid um, awkward or inappropriate expressions. One example I guess you can say uh, Finish and complete is kind of the same thing in Cantonese Yun Seng but the thing is you can't tell your boyfriend or your girlfriend that you make my life finished in English, right? Unless you want to get a slap in your face. Yeah, I guess you know what I'm trying to talk about. What else do I have to say? That's a wrap, I guess. For the very first episode of Random Rambling, I... And I hope I didn't ramble too much because my future editing self will help, will, 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 will hate me to guts. So thank you so much for watching and if you have any things to talk, please leave a comment down below and if you like what you just saw, I mean the rambling stuff. Please leave a like down below and subscribe to this channel for more maybe rambling stuff and possibly Cantonese related stuff and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye!